Huron River Watershed Council has been invaluable to drawing the ospreys to this area. They've played a huge role in keeping the water clear, which creates an abundance of fish, which allows our ospreys to thrive here. This nest here at Kensington Metro Park is located on the Huron River watershed. There is a tripod platform in the water, which is highly visible from the hike bike trail. There are nesting ospreys on that platform. Two young right now that are getting ready to fledge. Dad just brought in a fish and they are, for the first time, um, eating on their own. They're not being fed by mom. When I found out they were doing a restoration program at Kensington, I thought, well, we'll see how this goes, and continued to kind of follow that somewhat. I was doing some paddle trips with uh, Huron River Watershed Council, and we, a couple of times we'd see osprey down near Ipsy, the Ipsy area, and then um, a little farther upriver, and I thought, this is great, we can totally do this. Partnering with the Watershed Council is just the best. They brought in ITC, they had the expertise with these large pieces of equipment. They were able to put together the platform base and the basket where we hope the ospreys will nest. Here, come and get it. We joined this project because it was a natural fit for a high voltage transmission company to want to develop platforms that would keep the osprey, which are very large birds, away from our transmission lines. So we look for groups like the Huron River Watershed Council to provide us expertise in natural resource projects. The project is under River Up, which is our river revitalization effort. And there are construction projects, there are economic development projects, but there are also a lot of restoration projects. And this is one specifically targeted at restoring the osprey populations in our watershed. We spent a lot of the winter and last fall scouting different areas, bringing Osprey Watch in, talking about what might be the most appropriate places. We ended up going to Furstenberg Park and South Pond. ITC had the materials that they were going to recycle anyways, so they put it together. The City of Ann Arbor <laughs> applied for the permits, which you need from the DEQ, and then we'll be putting them together and installing them in the water. At that point, we hope we'll get us right. <laughs> Once ITC built the platforms and delivered the platforms to us, Mike, Han, and the crew figured out a safe way to get these installed through very shallow water. So we're going to do a quick briefing as to what, what the game plan is on how to get this thing done. Once the, the base gets down to the boat, we're going to have to kind of heave-ho it onto the boats a little bit. Up with your legs. How's everybody doing? All right? All right. Yeah. One, two, three. It's pretty close right there. No, at least get you started. You don't have much leverage with them. Yeah. Once we have it secured onto the boats, though, the plan is to pull it across, paddle it across, walk it across out to the point to where we're going to put the base in, and then use a winch and pull the base off of off of the boats into the water. And then from there. Uh, we'll float one of the platforms out and uh, we'll attach it to the base and then from there we'll kind of use a pivot um, a pivot from the base and the winch to pull up to where it needs to be. Right there. Stop! Stop! Got the platform installed. It went uh, as smooth as I hoped it, it would go. Uh, we put a lot of planning in to, to make sure that it was put in safely and efficiently or as effectively as we could. It's a great sign of revitalization in a river, and a river that's clean enough to support osprey, and it brings more people down to the river to see the beauty of it, the ecological value, and enjoy it. And that's really a, a goal of ours.